Let's learn how to make pumpkin bread. It's quite easy. It's one of those quick breads that you just toss together and it doesn't take a lot of time. I'm going to show you this recipe. It's very forgiving. You can add a lot more sugar if you like, a little less, and you can change up the spices and I'll show you how. Here are the basic ingredients, but don't worry, I'll include a link below with nutrition information as always. Get started by getting your equipment together. You're going to need a cooling rack, a 9x5 or a 13x23 centimeter pan, a piece of parchment paper always helps if you don't have parchment paper just grease and line it well, a whisk helps, a spatula or a spoon, and of course a bowl. And we're just going to set this aside and go preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, as far as ingredients go, this isn't too hard. One and a half cups of flour, 225 grams. You can use any kind of flour you like. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, six grams. If you're using whole wheat flour, up it to two teaspoons. Use a half a teaspoon of salt, 2.5 grams. And I'm using three quarters of a cup of sugar, just a blended kind. And I'm using 150 grams, but you can go up higher to one and a half cups if you like it sweeter. Now for the spices, I'm using one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon one teaspoon of ginger, and about half a teaspoon of allspice. If you don't have these spices, you can use pumpkin pie spice in replace of all this in equal amounts, or if you want to use nutmeg and cloves, just use a quarter teaspoon each instead of the allspice. I like this blend, and it's really forgiving on how you can do it. And you also, you can just use a whole tablespoon of cinnamon if that's all you have. Stir this all together until you get it really well blended and you don't see any lumps. Now we're going to add in one third cup of oil, 80 milliliters. You can use any kind of oil that you like, or you can melt butter, let it cool, and then measure out a third of a cup of that. Next, I'm going to use one cup of pureed pumpkin, 218 grams. This can be from the can, or you can go fancy and you can pray your own after roasting it. Some people swear you have to do that. You don't have to do that. Use two eggs, 100 grams after it's been cracked. And then you want to beat this together. I recommend not using a whisk at this point and a spoon, and I'm going to show you why. I totally forgot to switch out, and it becomes very difficult to stir. Don't use a whisk. Switch over to a spoon. So once you switch over to the spoon or a spatula, you're going to mix this just until it's well combined. It's going to be a very thick batter. It's not going to fall off your spoon. You're going to have to scrape this into your pan and level it out somewhat once you level it out. Now this makes a very small loaf. If you want it to be a large loaf, all you need to do is double the recipe and put it in the pan that we're using today. However, I like to make smaller loaves because if I'm trying a new recipe, I don't want to waste a lot of batter and a lot of ingredients because it can be quite expensive. So I always like to make things smaller, especially if you're just a one household person, because this is a lot of bread for just one or two people. And also it freezes really well. So you're going to scoop this out and you're going to take some time and spread it out into the corners. Try to make it level as possible. Don't worry if it's not. It's not going to rise very much because the pumpkin's pretty dense and especially if you use some whole wheat flour like I did. You're going to bake this about 45 to 55 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. The internal temperature is going to be 190 degrees Fahrenheit or about 88 degrees Celsius. Then let it cool about 10 minutes before removing it from the pan. Use something that you can loosen the sides with if you didn't grease it well. I always like to let it climb a little bit. And then you're going to remove the parchment paper if you use that. Let it cool. This is good warm or cold. I actually like to get it cold and let it set overnight because it develops the flavors more. And then you just cut into it. This is such a soft bread that you can literally use a butter knife and that's one of the reasons why I'm using a butter knife. The other reason is I keep cutting myself with my bread knife. I don't know what it is about a bread knife but I tend to cut myself more in the kitchen with a bread knife than any other knife I have. Probably because I use bread knives more than any other knives. And they're super sharp. So as you can see, it's really tender. It's very moist. It's delicious. If you like pumpkin, you'll love this bread. Give it a try. Again, feel free to up that sugar to one and a quarter cups if you're a sugar fiend. I found the three quarters of a cup a good compromise. Some people like it at one cup. And the dogs enjoy this as usual. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy baking and visit us at jacksonsjob.com for more recipes.